It's kind of a shame Lorax isn't here. He sometimes makes up these things. I wanted him to, you know, commiserate all for a Super Salvatore. But... Oh, yeah. It's, you know what? This kind of looks like a Guilty Gear you know, character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell isn't here to convert this into a fight into an RPG. Right. It's like, like with the glass shattering, it's like, on hell, save the day, but alas. Right. Apparently, the poor guy doesn't even exist for not doing this round. But then again, if you, if, you, if you were doing that one, the villain would be Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein instead of you know, whatever we're up against. Right. So, I know you're supposed to get the impression of them like, literally running away Scooby Doo style, but since they're all birds, it's imagining like you just have like, a like, blast of feathers and then just, you know, like a, a, a cartoon like gust of wind and then they're all gone. <laughs> yes, well, it looks like you're right. Uh, we've uh, gone from. Uh, Dating sim and everything else. I think we are now in survival horror. Right. Must have a death wish to mock me, so. <laughs> well, so if anybody can stop something like that, it's probably Shu. With his dark if, with his dark arts. <laughs> if he isn't actually responsible for it. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Oh, sleepy bird. <laughs> so only uh, Ryota and Saki were together. Right. That one looks like. So Yuya is just doing his own thing. Yeah, Yuya is doing his thing. Uh, Nageki is, in fact, a ghost. Right. <laughs> He's still doing that. Uh, and then Kazuaki and Shu are still here. Right, right. And, and Mr. One, as far as we know, is still in his office. Right. We have no idea where San is. I'm assuming he's still in the gymnasium. Hmm. Has he shown up in this, this thing yet? or not, not yet? Uh, He evacuated with us to the gymnasium, but he hasn't gone anywhere else. Uh -huh. He's slowly transforming into a little buddy. <laughs> Scarecrow in appearance. Oh, that old thing. What well, humans used to make, interesting. Yeah, we make scarecrows. But not cyborgs. Or well, robots, yeah. Well, obviously, but <laughs> I don't think that's quite what they meant. Well, they do make robots in Japan. I don't think they've ever made a ro robot scarecrow, though. Well, fine. Well, they are making robot farms, and maybe robot scarecrow is the next logical step. Now, why the robot scarecrow you know, has a you know, hydraulic arm that can smash things is a little bit different. Right. Right? Yeah, did I, I, did, I don't remember if I mentioned that in one of the streams or not. I, I, you know, I, I don't, I, you don't recall. But yeah, I was reading an article the other day about how, like, yeah, you know, Japan has already been doing some creative stuff of farming, like vertical farms. You know, they have these, you know, like greenhouse hydroponic style things with vertical racks of. Of, uh, any produce that doesn't have to be grown out of the ground, like potatoes and stuff, and and, the, and at this point now they've they've been rolling out uh, robots to do it, you know, to do it for them. That can just you know you go up on these racks and like you know just you move up <laughs> vertically and water them and stuff like that. I have to get my hands on that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that pretty conclusively proves that Shu isn't the one who made it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kazuaki. May well have a right. Asphyxiation? Huh. Huh. Interesting.
Interesting. Hmm. Is Hunter Gatherer. But if not Shu, then who? <laughs> <laughs> well, Shu doesn't use poison. He has poison in the lab. True. the wrong bird to walk home to school walk home from school with. Hmm. Hmm. That would make sense. <laughs> they say poison is a woman's weapon. Oh no, it's a zombie. Well and and uh, she had to cut her up and make her use of transport because, you know, one, you know, to be weighing too much on the scooter. I think we got our culprit. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I mean, she may be a woman, but her soul is wild. Mm, true, true. Uh, Mog asks, do we know Shu didn't kill her? And it doesn't seem like it. It has not been stated as such, but everything that uh, has been stated and how Shu has been reacting, I am pretty certain he didn't kill her. Right. Now, considering how late in the game this route took place, she's killed a lot of other people. So right, right. Not like he's a good bird, but... <laughs> well, uh, I wasn't close to anyone. The Hawk Faction was about to kill me. <laughs> Well, I guess that's true. That's true. They heard it coming quite a ways earlier. So. Right. Sadly, well, he actually sounds a little regretful in this one. Because my theory is he still regrets he wasn't able to kill her himself. Right, right. It's one of those things that, you know, it's a very minor detail. It just you know, irrationally bugs me the fact they don't capitalize, you know, their titles as proper nouns. Like Dr. Iwo Mine. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> Ah, excellent. Mm. It feels so weird in fact there aren't really choices you make in this one, you just kind of gradually see it happening. Right. Because you know, I'm just imagining this one as a Phoenix Wright slash Aviary Attorney Discovery segment. We have to like pixel hunt for the key in the room and... Oh, such you know, a shame we're missing out on pixel hunting. Yeah, yeah. Like you look, go to your bottom DS screen and, you know, use a touchpad to find it. <laughs> I get my stylus out. Right. Who led to that going straight home? Uh, Kazuaki. Hmm. I'm reasonably sure that he didn't, actually. I should have thought Pecos had actually dialogue. That may have been cool. Well, it was mentioned in passing before all of this happened. Uh -huh. I think that he said they had something to do, but I don't remember exactly what. Gotcha. And remember, this was before I knew it was going to turn to a murder mystery. Oh, Ryota lied about going straight home. That was it. That's right. I, lied to, I knew somebody had lied somewhere. Right. But I had forgotten who it was. Interesting. I think he is wrong. And we can be reasonably certain that Ryota didn't kill her, so... I know that he wants revenge for people putting him in... dressing him in drag all the time. <laughs> well, he wouldn't uh, kill the one person who hadn't done that to him. Well, he started with her, and it was going on first, uh, I believe, then the rest of the communication. That's a negatory. <laughs> You don't trust him in general, but you can trust him on this one. Probably. Maybe. You know, 
That's what I call the lab coat policy. <laughs> he's wearing a lab coat, he has to be trustworthy and know exactly what he's talking about. Right. Yeah, so far, Ryota has not cross-dressed yet. I think that may be right, Squall. Interesting. He, he actually, he's an actual doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but death and all around woe. Gotta remember that line, that's pretty good. <laughs> the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. Check yourself. <laughs> I gotta say, some of the some of the best dialogue in in you know, these in these things are when people just kind of have like some bland, you know, uh, text in another language like Japanese, and have to and have to embellish it quite a bit. Soon we'll go too far, like the infamous stuff and in the Final Fantasy Tactics remake, you know, the first chapter, purple prose and everything. But a lot of times you got stuff like this that. That's true. He might be cross-dressing now, since we don't uh, see him as the main character. Oh! <laughs> but I don't know, Sprawl. I don't think Wayne's on to anything. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's warn the people uh, about the Scarecrow monster. Right. So I might be the only only bird bad enough to. He's a bird enough dude to stop the uh, scarecrow. Although uh, flying type attacks are bad against si uh, metal types. Well, everything's bad against steel. You got you got to have to hit it. That's right, steel type. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Apparently, they've gone up to like seventeen types. There's like a fairy type now. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Imagine San being brought along for this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, did you, that's using his noodle. Yeah, he is an intelligent bird. <laughs> Stained interloper. The plot thickens. <laughs> what? Aha, it is shoe. We don't know if it was shoe or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did just confirm that, you know, Bo wouldn't be Bo wouldn't have any blood at all until uh until after that. The bird un So uh It was a bird, yeah. And it by that point it probably was not Shu, because mm -hmm. uh, you probably would know the infirmary doctor. Right. Yeah, I would say the person yeah. covered in blood is the most likely suspect. <laughs> Wait a minute, blood stained. Mm -hmm. Could that be on him? Hmm. Because it looks like he's blood stained. We shall see. Yeah. I take it with the uh, given given what we know about Nageki, he hasn't even been mentioned in the evil scenting. Right. Him, right. Yeah. Yep. Poor ghost. I'm sure that he'll be showing up eventually. Mm. I guess noon already. That was night the whole time with the with the filter. Yeah, yeah, the filter. Yeah. Oh, but remember. Oh, it's close up because the dome. Right, right. right. Yeah. 
That makes sense. That's actually a good attention to details, I think. Maybe the scarecrow is a mech being driven by a bird? I can mm. see that. <laughs> Control robot. Yeah, I asked, I asked about that earlier, Mog, and Angel has not been mentioned yet, or, or appeared. So that's, that's what I was wondering: was the, the bloodstained bird a the the assailant, or is that is it Angel about to be introduced, right. <laughs> or is it a blood red herring? <laughs> How does he know? Well, you you just a spy, you know. <laughs> oh, just now, okay. About to say he shouldn't have recommended us going to the headmaster's place if you know, if he had already gone there. Right. They should have put a red herring bird in this game. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> well, One can definitely take it. Mr. One. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't notice that the picture on the right, like the hat flying off the bird. Yeah. But those are like UFO beaming it up. Or yeah, something. I think so. Yeah. Brought up unadaptable middle age. <laughs> More than you would think. I yeah. Imagine. Yeah. I, yeah. When there was a discussion a while back after you know uh, Ferguson and all that stuff, if you were talking about like support for the cops and everything, and sure, you know, obviously you don't want you know the worst for public servants. But it's like they were really talking about how it's like the most dangerous job in the world, and actually it's like it's like number eleven or twelve on the top ten. You know, it didn't even quite make the top ten you know, deadliest jobs. It's the things like firefighters, construction workers, and yeah, maintenance workers and stuff. Er. <laughs> True. Someone who isn't uh, prone to fall asleep. Like right, right. right. <laughs> Wait. So every time, because you abbreviated the dick instead of D son, I'm expecting it to say D son. <laughs> like you just called, uh, like you just called her D. <laughs> Bird Hunter D. <laughs> oh, yeah, Blood oh Hunter Gatherer D. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Surprising. I guess luckily that uh, I'm only wasn't on a route where a shoe killed Yuya. Right. <laughs> Let's write down all the fans. <laughs> Updated my journal. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to take five for just a little bit. What? But I will be back in just a sec. Okay.
All right, we are back. Yes. PC. And we are only going to be back for a couple minutes because I got another order. So head out pretty soon. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Mysterious bloodstained stranger. Oh, so I guess somebody, somebody put enough luck to get enough points on luck to get the mysterious stranger, you know, uh, perk. <laughs> Was it worse than the Revengeance bosses? Yeah, did you have to slice any missiles? <laughs> say something. Not? Yeah, yeah Mog was asking about what to stream after this one. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, normally I would normally I would vote for uh, for Dark Souls enthusiastically, but I'm probably going to be able to see it since I've been you know, in and out getting deliveries all day for Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, so... <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This has all been one day, right? Yes. Yeah, because they, they found out they found her in the morning, I guess. Right. Yeah, just after homeroom, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> it was not a fun time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of uh, one of those interesting uh, discussions on on streaming for because I feel I feel the same way as Mom does sometimes talking about how. Yeah, you know when you should call it quiz, but you keep plugging away anyway. Right. And it's like, yeah, there's that thing where you want to keep streaming, you want you want to leave on a good note and everything, but the flip side is that when you you kind of get to the point where you need to take a break and do something else, but obviously, you know, if you're streaming, then you know you want to keep your audience there. Right. So yeah, you, sometimes you really just have to call it early and you just see, oh hey, you can meet us next time, and then you kind of end on a bad note, but you know as long as you come back and pick it up, then I think that's worth it. Definitely better than you know all the stress and stuff you would normally get if you just yeah keep keep tilting at that windmill until eventually you knock it down. Please for supporting who lose hold of their sanity. That's one of my support. Yeah, I agree. There should be options pretty much for any kind of action game to shift the difficulty as needed. It's interesting, a really big order for a blind couple. You wouldn't think they'd be into football, but I guess that's what the announcing is for and stuff. Maybe it's for something else. Might just be a Sunday dinner and it just happens to be a coincidence. Well, you have to remember that for the longest time, sports casting was over the radio. That's true. It's that's exactly true. the yeah. same thing. You know, it's kind of funny talking to some older fans because, you know, they, like, I knew a guy at, uh, when I was working for the State Department of Transportation here, that actually, he was one of those guys that would, would watch, you know, sports on TV, mute the TV audio, and then play the, like, the sports team's radio, like, out of, in this case, out of, right out of, out of Kansas City, because, well, I forget the guy's name, but whoever the Chiefs, you know, announcer was, is one of his, uh, favorite guys. Yeah, Nageki, well, I'm glad to see he exists. Uh, so, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mog. When you play Double May Cry and die uh, too often, it gives you the super secret easy difficulty. <laughs> yeah, I was annoyed when, when it happened to me in Double May Cry Three. I was fighting like the Jester boss. He's supposed to be hard, and I, you know, and I, I was whomping him pretty good. And it was like I think my third death to him. It was like, you know, you know, the easy mode. It's like, I almost had him, game. <laughs> you know, give me some credit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how helpful Nageki is going to be, but. <laughs> <laughs> you too, you, yeah, when, you, <laughs> yeah, when you're there with the doctor. Yeah, don't turn your tail feathers to him. <laughs> I think that's the first time that uh, that there's been a creepy. Uh, the doctor has been there, and not a single creepy line to be had. Right. I actually feel a little shortchanged. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't got to do your um, your Jack Benny, you know, <laughs> a laugh in a while. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, now, now, now that officially, you know, locks in, <laughs> that officially locks in the whole, like, you know, puff of smoke and then birds right. flying everywhere. <laughs> well, I know it ends with him you know, right. uh, smacking into the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense though. It's like you no, know, like people like setting out, you know, setting off a, a gunshot or whatever to, to to startle quail, and yeah, they just go uh, up and out. Yeah. And uh, you missed it earlier because Iwaki explained that doves were the first to, uh, species to gain intelligence, mm. and then things uh, quails like him are still getting used to the idea of being social creatures. Interesting. So. <laughs> Any real explanation? Good question. Can he answer any of our questions? <laughs> I a, love that mascot. Yeah, that's a weird one. It's like a dog or something. <laughs> His beak is way too small. Mm. Oh, he's a Nicobar. Oh. Huh. I'll have to look that up later. Right. See. Japan is the country of courtesy, after all. <laughs> I think the Canadian the Canadians would fight them for that, but they're too polite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not expecting a Nico Nico reference. Uh oh. Oh, it could be a yeah, pug. I could see that. I can yeah. see that. Hmm. Dun dun dun. Nicobar Islands, Archipelago, Archipelagic Island Chain, Eastern Indian Ocean. They're isolated in the world. You'll want to look out for the yeah, Nicobar bird. bird. Obviously, they're going to be native to it. Nicobar pigeon. Ah, oh, so the headmaster was poisoned too. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. We had no idea how long he'd been around. So. Right, right. Clever girl. Oh, it's kind of a shame they didn't have a picture. The Nicobar pigeons are very colorful. Yeah, and this guy was too. It was like a bright green. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's what they look like. Your obscene delight in the grotesque. Nicobars are large pigeons, measuring 40 centimeters by 16 inches in length. It is gray, upper neck plumage turns green and copper hackles. Tail is short and pure white. It is a very vocal species, giving a low pitched repetitive call. Hmm. Alright, that's probably enough time for the order to be ready, so I'll be heading out. But yeah, thanks again, everybody, and. Thanks for keeping Ben company and watching the bird murder mystery. It's uh, a lot more interesting than I was expecting, you know. <laughs> Let's search for some clues. As opposed to totally necessary panic. <laughs> Incompetent feral. And demographics for dummies.
you in Sakria. That is a good question. Maybe there would be something in there that would uh, give us a bit of a clue. Oh, true. There's no reason to stand on ceremony when the guy's dead, so... Oh, what's that? Control panel. Huh. Ah, I see. So we might be able to control the hatch now. Mr. One. Let us go. <laughs> For good reason. Thing you forgot about. Yeah, I honestly don't know what uh what you could be talking about with that. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need only keep going. You need not use your brain at all. Huh. Everything here is a plot that was laid out just for you, after all. Huh. So all of this is for Ryota, huh? You take it that way if you so wish. Interesting. Thickens, I see. Oh, forcing <laughs> spontaneous combustion. Nice. Not technically spontaneous, but I get what he said. Exactly. You know, you don't uh, fire a bomb on uh, you know, records that you don't really care about. <laughs> D 
diffusing bombs falls under maintenance operations. A bright and massive maintenance worker. That just sounds oddly dodgy to me. He's a BAM maintenance worker. Is a master of unauthorized access. Sounds about right. He is, after all, Spybird. Write all of it down. Possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. Yep, no phones. So. I have to say, too, this particular sequence is going on a lot longer than I thought it would. Definitely longer than uh, the main game itself, it feels. Uh-oh. And now we're, it almost feels a bit like Clock Tower or something like that. Or a haunting ground, maybe. It's the one big monster that chases you around and you have to hide from it. <laughs> Seriously, Sakya, now is not the time to be racist. Yeah, exactly. If you're relying on it, the uh, sound of its movement, if it stands still, then very obviously you can't uh, rely on that.
it was not yesterday that Miss Deason came here. Just now. Ah. The plot thickens. Because she's very obviously dead, so... Hmm. Last long enough to find the killer. We do not have many suspects. Blasted feral duds. natural mall. Just leave it to me. It's one thing that I kind of like. They've actually managed to find a pretty good way to make most of the cast do something while all of this is going on. <laughs> Sakuya X Ryota? I could see that. It is a relief to know that no matter who he's uh, interacting with, Sakia remains Sundari the entire time. <laughs> That's illegal, you know. <laughs> exactly, Kazuaki. I have faith in Spybird. I think you can do it. <laughs> so this is illegal time stealing illegal X-rated videos off the intertubes. <laughs> X-rated videos teach someone how to do this sort of thing? Maybe I should watch more of them. No, Ryota. Don't do it. Knowing our luck, the guy actually kept it as admin with password, password. He has an open and close button. Best depiction of hacking in a game ever. Um, I think opening it is really our only option. Huh, hash will close automatically in 15 minutes. Yeah, it does seem a little risky. And yeah, 15 minutes is at the same time not enough and too much at the same time. 
Because if there's something like Fallout or whatnot, leaving it open for 15 minutes contaminates the entire thing. But it's not enough to evacuate everyone out if it's needed. So that's just kind of dodgy all around. Oh yeah, shoes here too. All right. <laughs> Have you eyes or pickled onions? Perfectly clear. So it, as far as we can tell, it was not a natural disaster. Ryota is one brave bird, I must say. Yeah, there are a lot of dangers that could be um, related to things not being seen. Like, the most obvious one would actually be for, um, uh, for a pathogen of some sort. Uh-oh. And, uh, this could be bad. That's quite the sound. What just happened? Gunshot? Yeah, that's actually something that uh, real-life snipers sometimes do. You know, shoot somebody to wound them, to draw other people out of hiding, and then uh, shoot them as well. Well, it's a good thing Ryoto didn't fly out first then. So it's not so much something to keep them in, but perhaps some to keep something out. Humans, I would guess. Huh. So the plot really is thickening. So we've got a murderous bird on the inside, as well as the scarecrow killer. And now we also have, you know, some gun-toting guy outside. Huh. Things are looking really, really bad for us. Thankfully, we still still have one more route to a clue with that locked folder. Yeah, exactly right, Mog. Uh, same thing happens with some terrorist bombs. Uh, the first one explodes, uh, and then there's a second one that uh, is timed to uh, explode when the first responders arrive. I also remember that happening in uh, in Mockingjay, uh, same kind of thing. Because yeah, you know, we humans are uh, you know we are a herd species, uh, for lack of a better term, 
our first instinct when we hear uh, someone else in pain is to try to help out, and that's an easy bit of psychology to exploit, unfortunately. For birds, it would probably be exactly the same thing. Either that or, uh, you know, the idea of if one goes down, you burst into flight and get out of the way. Either way. <laughs> yeah, Kazuaki, I think we should keep quiet about this. One-way ticket across the sticks. So I guess that might be the reason why it's a 15-minute timer if this is designed to, you know, stop invasion rather than anything else. Huh. Mr. One might have that file open. Gosh, I hope so. to bear their evil fruit. Introduce myself properly. Leon JB. <laughs> the great soaring wings of the Dove Party, S Class Agent. 